Today we're going to look at how to interpret a periodic table and how to figure out the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in a periodic table. Uh, so we're going to make sure that we understand this key to begin with. Uh, this key says that the number on top is the atomic number. The atomic number is the number of protons. But conveniently for us, because protons are positive, if the atom is going to be neutral, it needs to have an equal number of electrons as well. So even though the atomic number is, by definition, the number of protons, for a neutral atom, it is also equal to the number of electrons. So when I ask you to tell me the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons, and we can do it in that order, that way it spells the word pen, P for proton, E for electrons, N for neutron, we can look at the atomic number and it will tell us how many protons it has and how many electrons it has. Um, then to figure out the number of neutrons, well, first of all, we have the chemical symbol followed by the actual name of the atom. But then at the bottom, we have what's known as the atomic weight or the atomic mass. Now, remember that the nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. So because neutrons don't have a charge, uh, it's, it's hard to figure out looking at the charge of whether the atom is neutral or not, how many neutrons we're talking about. So the way we do it is, since we know that in this particular atom, six is the number of protons. So we know that in this nucleus with a mass of 12, that six of them are protons, the other six must be neutrons. So basically what we do is this. If you want to know the number of neutrons, you take this atomic weight or atomic mass at the bottom and you subtract the number of protons. Basically, atomic mass minus atomic number gives you the number of neutrons. So in this case, 12 minus 6 would equal 6. So if basically, if I wanted to calculate how many, um, I would say, how many, how many protons does carbon have, right? I was trying to write here, but it's not letting me. Okay. But there you go. Now it's right. Okay, so like I said, if I wanted to calculate how many uh, protons for carbon, I would look here at the 6 to figure this out. And I'll say, okay, it has 6. How many electrons? Well, it's always equal to the number of protons in a neutral atom, so that's going to be 6. And then if I ask how many neutrons does it have? Well... I can just say 12 minus 6 equals 6. So this is for carbon. 6 protons, 6 electrons, 6 neutrons. Let's try one more example before you guys do this on your own. And my eraser just froze. Okay, very good. So let's try one more. Let's say, for example, let's take lithium, for instance, okay? We'll take lithium. Uh, let me make it a little bigger. So here's lithium. And I want to know how many protons, neutrons, and electrons. So I'm going to put the, the word pen. Protons, electrons, and neutrons. Okay. And again, so in order to get the protons, I just look for the atomic number. So lithium's atomic number is up here. It's three. So I know that it has three protons, three electrons, because they always come in even amounts. And then to get the neutrons, I subtract the atomic mass or weight minus the atomic number. So I'm going to go seven minus three equals four. So lithium has three protons, three electrons, and four neutrons. So now that you got the hang of it, um, 
why don't you try some on your own? I'm going to point out a few for you to try. And you can pause the video in order to figure this out. So here we go. For instance, let's do a couple of examples here. Um, give me hydrogen, protons, electrons, and neutrons. Okay. Try beryllium. How many protons? How many electrons? How many neutrons? Try magnesium. How many protons, electrons, and neutrons? Try sodium. How many protons, electrons, and neutrons? Let's try, try potassium. How many protons, electrons, and neutrons? Let's go across on the other side. How about fluorine? How many protons, electrons, and neutrons? Finally, argon. How many protons, electrons, and neutrons? Okay. Hopefully you guys got the hang of it. All righty.